Hello and welcome back to Bloodborne, where we have just upgraded our weapon, upgraded ourselves, and upgraded our chances against Vicar Amelia. So let's go fight her. It'll be an interesting time. And we won't summon help so that we can just blast on through to her. Because it's faster that way. And also that way we can keep our 20 insight. Though before we go to face her, I'm just going to check and see whether 20 is enough. No, it is not. Was it 30? I think it was 30. 30 or 40 inside is where we start being able to see a little something. So, we'll get there eventually, but we're not there yet. Okay. So, just making our way up to the vicar. Yeah, that's right, you keep going. And in fact, what are we even waiting for? Yeah. And they've got their frenzy sticks back. And they're still unable to get me as I... S I was going to say sweep by, but that doesn't really make sense, does it? As I swing by? Maybe that's better. Okay, Amelia. You ready for this? I'm ready for this. Oh, yes, we are doing significantly more damage to her. We can take more hits. That detour was precisely what we needed. Oh, yes. Ooh, and she is ready for a visceral. There we go. Delightful. You don't want to miss those chances when they appear because that is damage. Oh, I hit her in the face. Yeah, as you can see, we are much better off now. Dodged that way too early. And she's fixed herself. Which means all the brakes are back. Okay. Okay. Because of her position in the uh, light there, I thought she was doing her heal, so I tried throwing Numbing Mist, which got me hit. Ow. Not kill me. I like how uh, blood vials heal for a percentage. Oh, is this. Yeah, that might have been an opportunity for a visceral. Yeah, I like how blood vials heal for a percentage of your health, so increasing your health also stretches your blood vials faster. And she didn't even try and heal once. So, yeah. We were just trying to fight her much too early last time. It would have been possible to kill her, but it would have taken a whole hell of a lot more effort. So yeah. Yeah, waiting there was absolutely the thing to do. I mean, we came in with an extra three upgrades on our hammer. With an extra, like, five-ish points of strength and a good 25% more health. Yeah, I'd say that going through Hemwick Charnel Lane first was absolutely the right decision. Master Willem, I've come to bid you farewell. Oh, I know, I know. You think now to betray me. No, 
but you will never listen. I tell you, I will not forget our adage. We are born of the blood, made men by the blood, undone by the blood. Our eyes are yet to open. Fear the old blood. I must take my leave. Delightful. And now we know the password. Was someone just clapping? And there will now be changes to the world since Amelia has been defeated. Happens after you defeat every major story boss. But, yeah, you'll note it's no longer sunset. The sun has, in fact, set. It's dark now. It's night. Boop. Don't know what you're trying, buddy, but it's not working. And you get out of here. Delightful. I could go spend these echoes, but I mean, we've got some stuff to investigate over here. It's a little unpleasant, but I think we should be able to manage. Now, we don't want to drop down just yet. Then again, maybe we do, because there's that item, and I don't see... Yeah, there's no way to get from there over to there, but... Let's just hop on this roof, kill these birds. Almost one-shot them. I'm guessing we're two points away from one-shotting them. Based on the fact that we're doing 123 damage and they are becoming very nearly dead, but not actually dead. And yeah, it seems there is no way from here onto that roof, so we would have to drop specifically onto it. And that fella over there is part of why this is a bit of an annoying way to go. But if we can do things like that reliably, then it won't be too tough. Nice try with that shield, buddy. Good job. Of course, he's not the tough one of the two. It's his buddy who is a bit more troublesome. But, thankfully, now that he's dead, I don't have to fight them both at once. And we've got some bolt paper for our efforts, which is not what he was using to infuse his weapon with lightning. But whatever. So yeah, it's just him and his single buddy. And we can't knock this bucket into the very shallow well. Because this isn't Dark Souls. And that right there is why this guy is so annoying. He's got a very long range weapon. And he loves to fire it. I think he does run out of bullets eventually, but it takes so much time that it's not even worth waiting for. Also, his melee weapon is a gun as well. There's a visceral. Gonna need a bunch more of those if we want to kill him easily, though. 
Though apparently, nope, apparently getting him in that corner is not going to do it for us. Okay, we just got shot to death. Well, it happens. Thankfully, I don't think these guys are capable of absorbing our blood echoes. I think we will, in fact, find them on the ground. Which is good, because that's precisely where I want them to be. I'd much rather be able to pick them off up. Pick them off. Pick them up off the ground, not pick them off up. Or, yeah. Pick them up off the ground is better than having to kill a jerk to get them. And let's just leave it at that. Oh, you're back here now. And you're trying to frenzy me. But you can't fit through these doors. Poor guy. I am glad I was still invincible during that visceral. Hey, buddy. You want to... You want to try something? Okay. Your try was successful. Thankfully, now that he's dead, we don't have to worry about getting frenzied. Let's go get our blood back. And we should be able to see from here. Yes, our blood echoes are in fact on the ground. And we don't really have any smaller drops to get here. Whoa. That was slippery. And there is our friend right there. Using the term friend very, very loosely. Because he is a jerk. And I do not care for him. In fact, fighting him down here is akin to fighting him on his terms. And honestly, fighting an enemy on their terms is not great. What might be better would be instead going up the stairs, trying to fight him on the roof like we did his buddy, because then he could make the mistake of falling off it. Though we can also use this well to line of sight his bullets. Nice try. I need to start giving more than I'm getting. Which unfortunately this guy is very dodgy. Prefers his guns to his melee, which doesn't help me. I'm very much a melee, melee oriented guy. Of course, if we can back him into this corner, that would be nice. Then again, no it wouldn't because he fires his gun faster than we do ours. And also he's got longer range, so maybe we can get him up here. Come on, buddy. Come on up. No. Yes, no. Make up your mind. Do you want to come up the stairs or not? It's pretty clear you don't. Okay. Okay. That's your corner. I get it. Will you ever run out of bullets? I'm beginning to think he won't. Whoa there, whoa, Oh. Well, at least our blood will be easy to get here. We won't have to aggro him to get it. But we also don't have any blood vials. So I think the plan is rapidly becoming get blood back and then just leave. Don't want to have to deal with this jerk. Plus, we don't actually have to go that way until much later. Well, not much later, but later. OK. 
because going that way takes us to a dead end that is only useful after we've gotten a specific item. Of course, getting to the dead end lets us get some nice things. It's got a couple scurrying beasts. And they carry, I think, just regular blood shards, so... You know, it becomes less useful the more we wait. But then again... I simply don't have the supplies to really go very far that way right now, at least. Well, it'd be easy if I was just going to ignore that guy. I could go over behind him and get to the dead end. But as long as he's there, I mean, it's annoying. And you only got to kill him once because then he never respawns again. But whatever. Now that it's nighttime, we should actually be able to talk to those other fellows in Cathedral Ward. That might be worth doing, though actually going down here is probably the faster way to get to them. We just gotta run past these jerks while we do it. And then the church giants are asleep until you get close enough because it's nighttime. They don't walk around. Of course, once you get close enough, it's no holds barred. But if we just, you know, skirt on by him, it's fine. Didn't expect the dog to follow me into there. Get out of here, dog. You. I don't like you either. Ow. Okay. How's that? And that, even though you were already dead. We'll have a reason to do that later on. I believe I've already... Oh, this isn't the right way. No, it is. It is. I'm being stupid. Ugh. Elevation differences did it again. And I need blood vials, not bullets. Thankfully, I should actually be able to talk to both of the people here who need talking to without aggroing anyone. Oh, you still don't want to talk anymore? I guess we need to kill one more important oh, boss. Thank goodness. You're a hunter, right? Yep, that's me. Might you know of a safe place? I sure do. The night is long, and a very little of the incense left. Hmm. Please, there must be some nice place to run off to. There is. Well, that oh, one right there. Thank you, darling. Maybe I'll see you there. Maybe. <laughs> oh, that maybe I'll see. <laughs> okay. And now let's try with this guy one more time. What's this two-bit nonsense you're peddling? Aha. Uh -huh. I heard you told that wench about some shelter. Sure did. Well, she's a damn fool to trust an outsider. Oh, why? Well, her sort's probably just fixing to feed some of your coin. Mm. <laughs> Uh, all right. What crafty lies does the outsider have today? Do you think I'm an easy mark? Yeah? Well, give me your best shot. Okay, go to the clinic. It's totally safe. Yeah, sorry. Too sharp for that, bollocks. I know a superstition when I hear one. Outsiders. Even their lies are predictable. He goes to the opposite place that you tell him to. What? Still prone on folks for your book of lies? Yeah, fine. Come on, show me what you got. Huh. Yeah, sorry. Took out. Yep. Since he goes to the place that is the opposite of where you tell him to, uh, this is the way to keep him alive. And it's interesting in that he accuses us of lying, but really, once he gets to the chapel, pretty much everything he says is the opposite of what's true. Thus making him the liar. Fancy that. Oh, you trapped out there. I'm sorry. Yep. Still can't see it. Need more insight. Where are the guys who were down here? 
Maybe they're hiding down that way. Either way. Nope, door is still closed. Well then, I guess... Oh, hang on. What's up, lady? Not having a good time, are you? Oh. What? Looks like she'll repeat herself. So, this third time. Sure. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to the Hunter's Dream, get ourselves some more blood vials. We kind of need them. And then we'll go use the password that we got. Because that's really our only other option from this point beyond going into Old Yarnum, which I don't want to do. What's this? Ah. Okay, so now we are able to go into the Old Hunter's DLC. Though I am most certainly not going to go there right now. That would be difficult. So let's let's not spend all of our echoes on these. Let's let's get up to twenty. There we go. And a few more bullets never hurt. And then we might be able to level once or twice. Welcome home. What Hi. Is it? I want well. more levels. Once. We can level once. But hey, we can get that to be a nice round number. I like multiples of five. There we are. Farewell, good. May you find... Uh-huh. Okay, and German's still in here. You got anything new to say? The moon is close. It will be a long hunt tonight. If the beasts loom large and threaten to crush your spirits, seek a holy chalice. But I don't want to do chalice dungeons. As every hunter before you has. A holy chalice will reveal the tomb of the gods where hunters partake in communion. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't want to do Chalice Dungeons. They're bothersome. Especially if you want to get to their exclusive boss, because you gotta go through some particular nasties in order to actually get deep enough to get to the Chalice boss. Specifically the nasties I'm talking about, you gotta do an entire Chalice Dungeon where you have half health. Which... It's very easy to die there. Very, very easy. But anyway. I could have spent my remaining blood echoes on more vials and bullets, but I don't think I'll need to. No, I've got other things to do. And I wonder if we're actually at the right part of the game for what I'm thinking of now. I'll have to give it a look. Oh, good. They're here. Oh, hello, dear. You weren't lying. This is a safe place. Yep. Thank you. I'm in your debt. No problem. I'd like to tender my thanks, but I haven't much to offer. All I can give is my blood. Well, it's pretty nice blood, so I'll How take it. Would you even take a horse blood? Yeah, sure. Oh, good. Come close, dear. Don't worry. This isn't the first time. <laughs> Also, I like how she taught us how to curtsy without curtsying herself. Oh, hello. Sorry, dear. You're much too eager. 
I've only so much blood, okay? Okay. Yeah, the uh, blood of Ariana. It's very, very nice. You can only hold one at a time. But when you need it, you need it. Ah, oh, you. The swindling off come up. Oh, am I swindling? Did you really think that'd work? No fooling me. Now, off we go. You heard me. Go away. I can't stand the stench of your lying breath. Oh, okay. I'll spare you one nugget of advice. Beware the blind man. There the beggar sits at the bottom of the bloody food chain. And then his ear acting like he owns the place. He's not to be trusted. What's he want with all those people anyway? That little weasel has a murky past, I'm telling you. When in reality, he just wants to keep everyone safe. Because he's actually a nice guy. Give it a rest, please. I've no time for your petty lies. And what? Just go away now. I can't stand the stench of your lying breath. Okay. So, giving a look. Ah, the enemies have changed, so will he be here? No, not yet. Still too early. So, oh, hello. Don't want to miss out on you. Oh, hello there. Perfect timing. I must warn you not to go near the tomb below Erden Chapel in the Cathedral Ward. Why not? Henrik, an old hunter, has gone mad. Oh no. And he's my mark. Okay. Don't go near the tomb below. I have business there first. All right. <laughs> Don't go near. I have. <laughs> Let's go. What's the worst that could happen? Gotta progress her quest line somehow, you know? Plus, there's some excitement to be had. Though I think we might need to actually reload the place before we... do this. Oh, hello. Nope, he is here. Oh. Well, I am dead. And there she is. You are a bit late. Thankfully, we'll have another chance here. I guess she did have to run the whole way along with me. Shouldn't have let myself get parried, though. That was a poor plan. Turns out the much smarter way to play is to not get parried. So off we go. To get our blood back. We're not missing much, but I mean, hey, it's ours. And now they're fighting each other already. And we just need to be careful not to hit our friend. If we hit her too many times, then she'll become hostile. And that is absolutely not what we want. Man, I keep being just barely too far away, and I really want to get this. Because, oh, you just screwed me out of that, lady. Oh, she's dead. That's bad. How did she get so killed? Also, how did I get so killed? Well, I guess we're not seeing the end of her quest line. Which is unfortunate. But I can't explain what would happen. 
what would happen is she would chide us for having gone there, saying that he was her mark, and I should leave the hunting of hunters to her. And then we'd go fight another hunter who was supposed to be her mark, and she'd say, hey, stop it, or my next mark might be you. And then she goes after yet another mark up in the Grand Cathedral, who actually bests her. And she'll be sitting in front of the cathedral saying that, you know, she's uh, been bested and she doesn't want to ask, but could we go kill her mark for her? And so we fight it, and it's basically the toughest NPC hunter in the game. And yeah, then she dies, I guess. Um, rar. Dang elevations. Oh, oh. We got staggered, but good. I'll give it one more shot this episode. I mean, we don't have to kill him. I could just grab my echoes and run. But I want to. I want to kill him. Just so that he's not there anymore. He killed a friend, you know? And that simply cannot be allowed. It's actually the first time I've seen her die during that encounter. Though it might have been partially because I hit her at least once in there. And also the fact that she got... Uh, she got staggered that one time by him shooting her and then he did a fully charged attack on her face which you know that can't have been good for her oh do you not know how to handle hammers of course we need to hit more directly if we want to do damage Good job, waste your bullets. Of course, I'm wasting mine as well. There we go. That's the type of hit I want. He might have had a good idea with the whole fully charging an attack after hitting her, though. Because it seems that a fully charged attack does more damage than a visceral. Okay. 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 I probably shouldn't have been backing away in a straight line. But at least now our blood will be there so we can actually get it without aggroing him. There's no reason we can't come back later. So, that's going to be it for this episode. Join us next time when we go speak the password. See you then, friends.